Hello there folks, my name's Steven and today we're going to take a look at the Vortex Crossfire HD binoculars. Now you know Vortex is based in the United States, but these binoculars are manufactured in China. They do come with the Vortex VIP warranty, which basically means anything happens and they'll replace them. Now, I've had a lot of Vortex products, including the Vortex Diamondback HD binoculars, the Vortex Fury 5000 AB binoculars, and I have a pair of the Vortex UHD or Vortex Razor UHD binoculars. So these are 10 times magnification with a 50 millimeter objective, and you can get these in a couple different powers. They feature a 50 millimeter objective lens, so that's excellent for low light gathering, a 17 millimeter eye relief, which is sufficient for pretty much anybody out there, uh, an exit pupil of five millimeters, and they have a 320 feet of view at a thousand yards. Um, they have a 6.1 degrees of angular field of view and a closed focus or close focus of six feet. So you can really focus in at a very close distance with these binoculars, which is excellent for those hunting in thicker foliage. Also the interpupillary distance is 60 to 76 millimeters. I have a very narrow inter interpupillary distance um, and these work quite uh, nicely or comfortable with me. The height is 6.7 inches by 5.3 inches wide and they weigh 30.4 ounces. Now obviously in the lower magnification versions of this they are lighter weight. Things that I like about these is they have a very nice rubber like coating on the outside or covering. So they're easy to grip even when your hands are wet. They look really aesthetically pleasing. They have little thumb, flattened thumb grooves right here. So kind of fit nicely in your hand. Very ergonomic, come with lens covers. The only thing with the lens covers I noticed is that sometimes they can get pinched in between if you have to narrow these, um, but uh, not too bad. Comes with a very nice high density foam padded lanyard that you can connect here and to the eye cups so that you don't lose them or I should say uh, eyepiece covers. Um, and the best part of all and this is what really sets them apart from other competitors on the market is it comes with a uh, glass pack. It comes with a bino harness pack or bino pack whatever you want to call it and I've had three or four of these exact identical bino packs and I love them because they come with a very nice thick padded um, outer. The interior is ripstop, has a little elastic band so you can easily close this even with one hand and open it. Has mesh pockets that are elastic on either side for your wind checker or uh, lens cloth. In the back here it has a, a zippered pocket um, which I really like. I put batteries, extra lens wipes in there. These attach to um, webbing that goes over and around your back. So it's extremely comfortable and easy to adjust. And uh, well, all I can say is having a binocular pack is one of those things that if you've never had one and then you try one, almost undoubtedly you will never go back because it keeps your binos protected and from all kinds of conditions. The lens is clean and it keeps them right where you need them. So, that right there uh, is a huge savings um, because it comes with that. Um, the eye cups are adjustable on this and I like the feel of them. They're very smooth but they don't have any like sub tensions meaning when you pull this out it kind of locks in place all the way out but there's not like any um, uh, sub tensions in between where you can kind of lock it out so um, you can adjust it in between but if you put a lot of downward pressure they are going to want to move in on you. The um, diopter adjustment is a nice rubberized wheel. It is a little bit gritty. Um, it does work nicely, but it is a little bit gritty and it isn't locking. The, mag or the focus wheel, I should say, not magnification wheel, on the middle is, I think, identical to the Vortex Diamond Back HD binos. It's very nice, rubberized, knurled, easy to grab, very smooth, works good. It's not sloppy or anything like that. Um, really pleased with that. These are uh, fully waterproof and fog proof and the glass on them is right where it should be. It's not top tier glass. It's not mid grade glass. Um, it's not the lowest glass out there though either. It's sufficient. You do have some edge to edge distortion. You do have some loss of light transmission um, and a little bit of chromatic aberration. 
Uh, the lenses are multi-coated, and I gotta say, at its in its price point, at its category, these are one of the best buys, if not the best buys there is. Now, I had a pair of the Athlon Argos G2 UHD binos, which um, I do feel like the glass is better than the Diamondback HDs. And these, um, the construction, hmm, not necessarily. Um, like all other aspects, um, not necessarily. I do think these are maybe slightly more durable. I do like the magnification, or excuse me, the focus wheel a little bit better on these. Um, but, and I like the fact that it comes with a glass pack bino uh, pack, um, cause that's a huge savings. But, um, you know, I would say um, in its class, this is possibly the best bino out there uh, for the money and certainly among the top. So go ahead and check them out.